Hey you guys, I'm back. None of the foolery seemed to take a break while I was away. And in this video, I will be discussing some disturbing things that I saw as a result of this Essence cover that Diddy did alongside his three daughters. And some of the comments were very disrespectful. I don't think it's fair that the girls are being dragged because of what they perceived to be airbrushing or darkening of his daughter Chance's skin. So I wanna give you guys background on who Chance is because people mainly see the twins. And I also want to touch on this Essence cover magazine and why many of you should not believe that Chance's skin was darkened because that is 100% false. So if you'd like to see all the foolery that occurred under the shade room post of this magazine, please stay tuned for the rest of this video. Straightblacklove.com is dedicated to matching up black singles. Best of all, they are international. Go take a look for yourself and go create a free profile today at straightblacklove.com. This video is sponsored by Car Marshall. They have over 100,000 cars in their inventory. While you shop, they will negotiate for you. I'll provide the link for you to go click and search for your new vehicle today. Ashkicken.com, whether you need incense, personal hygiene products, candles, bar fresheners, Ashkicken is your go-to. Please visit Ashkicken.com, use Paris Milan at checkout to receive 15% off. This video is also sponsored by Soulfully Scented LV. They are a black owned hair care line that has very affordable and potent products. And they also have a physical store located in Las Vegas, Nevada on 1210 West Owen Avenue. Be sure to go and support the online store as well as the physical store today. So did he just recently did an Essence cover magazine spread alongside his daughters, Delilah, Jesse, as well as Chance. Now under the shade room, they posted a photo of the Essence magazine spread that showed Delilah, Jesse, and his daughter Chance. And a common question that I saw people asking was, who was the third girl in the picture? I guess they didn't realize that Chance was his daughter. So if you guys remember in the video that I posted about a couple weeks ago in regards to Kim Porter and why Diddy never married her, I was touching on the multiple infidelities that Diddy had while with Kim Porter. So in 2006, while they were still together, Kim was actually pregnant and she was informed by one of her girlfriends that Diddy had gotten another woman pregnant. Of course, she didn't want to stress herself out. So she was researching about this person and who she was, but she didn't overly obsess about it because she wanted to make sure that she had a healthy pregnancy. So Kim the whole time in 2006 was waiting for Diddy to tell her about this woman because she did confirm that her friend was in fact true that he had another woman pregnant and that the woman gave birth. This whole time Kim was just sitting on this information and it wasn't until after she gave birth that Diddy finally confessed to her that he did get another woman pregnant and this woman is named Sarah Chapman and she ended up having her daughter Chance five months earlier in July of 2006 and Diddy and Kim Porter had their twins Delilah and Jesse in December of 2006. So I just wanted to give that little bit of background for those who didn't know that she was his daughter and how that all came to be. So as I stated earlier they just did a cover of Essence Magazine with Delilah, Jesse, and Chance. And there was some very, very disgusting comments that I saw in the comment section on the Shade Room. And I want to read some of them to you guys. And let me be clear, some of you guys may automatically assume that, oh, this is black women saying this, and this is black men. Now, from what I clicked on and saw from these profile pictures, these are non-black people who are also saying some of these things. It doesn't negate that some of these comments were coming from black people, but it was also non-blacks who were making these idiotic statements as well. So let me go ahead and read you guys the comments. So one comment here says, at least I'm not the only one who feel like they made Chance black his age. Then someone else went on to say, Chance ain't this dang dark. So someone else commented and said, why did they do Chance's skin like that? She is naturally flawless. Now this comment is kind of backhanded because it's like, yeah, they darkened her skin and that created some sort of anomaly to her skin. But without the darkening of her skin, she's actually beautiful. So it's like her being darker is not flawless. But when she is what they perceive to be lighter, that's flawless. Now this is where where the comments start to get disgusting. And let me make something clear, just because a person is darker skin, that does not mean that you have to find them attractive, but it also doesn't mean that you have the right to disrespect them for the sake of your color hierarchy fetishization. So this person says, wow, the girl at the bottom is gorgeous. She's gonna be a superstar. Wish the same for the other bro. And then someone else says, nah, his girls look like a girl version of him. They aren't cute, sorry. The one at the bottom maybe, but that the twins. So basically this person here is saying that the twins are not cute, but Chance, who is the girl at the bottom, because Chance looks more mixed in some regard than the other two, that's why she feels as though she's a little cuter. And mind you, this is not a black woman saying this. This is a woman that's non-black. You could have just reserved your comments. You didn't need to say that about their appearance, especially because you're not attractive yourself. You look like a lopsided linebacker built snow ape that's talking crazy trash about 12 year olds. You are a sickening wildebeest running your mouth on the internet. You should be running your big pompous 
behind on a track. Now here's other people again talking about their skin tone blacker than the Essence Fest. And then this guy talking about only the one on the bottom is beautiful, sorry. So again, it's like, why are you guys making comments dragging these young girls? I get if you have an issue with feeling, and again, this is all perception because I'm going to prove to you guys that Chance is in fact darker skin. She's not light skin like y'all have thought that she was. There's been lighting changes. I'm sure the seasons change and you know, skin tone fluctuates, but she's not light skin at all. So for you guys to be so angry that you felt as though her skin was darkened and to basically imply that his other two daughters who clearly look like black girls are ugly. And when you look at Chance, she looks more phenotypically mixed even though she is darker skin and there are darker skin biracials and darker skin mixed people. Because of that, you guys feel as though you are in a position to be judged and executioner and crucify these girls appearance. So here are some photos of Chance alongside her mother. Now again, lighting changes can cause a person to look lighter in photos but also seasonal changes. Obviously black people in the summer are going to be darker than they are in the winter, but Chance is not a lighter skin girl and she really never was. Now in this photo here, she clearly has the darker skin tone, but then in this photo you can tell it's been edited and has filtered, so she looks a bit lighter. But here's her in photos. This is a darker skin looking girl, but she does have that mixed phenotype. You can see it in her hair texture. You can see it with her features, her nose. She just looks like a dark darker skin mixed race girl. So when you see her in videos, she clearly looks darker skin. I mean, she doesn't really look significantly lighter than her younger twin sisters, Delilah and Jesse. but you guys in the comment section are so strong in your convictions that she was lighter and that they just darkened her skin. Well, I guess you could say for Delilah and Jesse as well then, because literally all three of them are about the same skin tone. It's not like she was ever the color of her mother. She was always a brown skin girl. And I get that this happens way too often. So a lot of us are sensitive to the fact that, hey, these these people are not using actual black people. They want to darken their skin. I don't think that it's right to darken their skin. And people also made a good point that I don't think people's skin tone should be darkened in pictures or lightened in pictures. That is a fair argument. But again, it is not applicable in this case because Chance is darker skin. Whether y'all want to believe that or not, that's what she is. And it just shows you the sickness that people have, whether it's black people, non-black, whatever. You could be telling somebody a solution on how to become a millionaire and you guys are fixated on skin tone. You can give somebody the solution on to cure all the diseases in the world and you guys would be fixated on the skin tone of the person that's selling you. That's how regressive this society is. And I don't want to hear, oh, it's only black people saying this. Whites have taught us the ropes of colorism, how to judge each other based upon our skin tone and how to create a hierarchical system in which we choose those who are darker skin as these peasants and the throwaways of the society. And those who are lighter skin are given all these extra concessions and preferential treatment and privileges and all based on a person's skin tone, which you guys feel is those skin tone equates to beauty and that's not the case. I mean when you look at Kim Porter, Kim Porter was gorgeous, rich skin tone and her daughters are obviously brown skin, darker skin girls because their father's darker skin and so was Kim Porter and so it's like wow because these two girls are darker skin you're comparing them to her sister who is darker skin but is more phenotypically mixed looking. You guys feel as though well these twin girls are obsolete. And I'm not gonna say all these comments were this way. You saw a lot of positive comments but it just seemed like the negative comments overshadowed the cover and how it just really highlighted all darker skin girls and how we're finally starting to see more accurate representation of darker skin black girls. Nobody's skin tone was extra darkened or anything according to what y'all are saying and you guys are still effing complaining. And I see so many black people talking about the fight against white supremacy and I really feel as though if you guys really wanted to fight against white supremacy, one of our biggest fights is going to have to be to end this colorism thing amongst each other. They taught us the ropes like I told you guys but because we perpetuated the most, that should let you know that that's a problem that we really need to focus on solving. But too many of you guys are in denial about it and don't want to combat it and acknowledge that this is affecting your children. And instead you want to blame darker skinned people. Well, oh, you just have low self-esteem or you just want people to date you. No, you just want people to respect you. And it's really sad that anytime there are black girls who are visibly black, they don't look mixed race. They will still uplift a darker skinned mixed race or biracial looking girl over black girls who are not 
not mixed race looking at all. And I think that that is very problematic because it's like if we're going to talk about uplifting dark skin, uplift all dark skin regardless of whatever their racial makeup is. I don't think it's fair for these two girls to be dragged because of you guys psychotic delusions of people being beautiful because they have something mixed in them. And I can't stand when people make comments like that. And it's a good point that you guys brought up in my comment section where you were talking about the whole pretty for a black girl, pretty for a dark skin girl thing that we hear a lot. It's like being black is hideous. So you have to be mixed with something for you to be attractive. And I really hope that somebody is in Delilah and Jesse's corner because I'm sure they're going to encounter this more and more as they grow older. And I just hope they don't turn into the Clermont twins. If you're not aware of the influences and how other people are impressing upon them on what is deemed as beautiful, that can end up happening to these young black girls. And that's why you see so many black girls out here bleaching their skin because you just don't see too many black people educating them on colorism. Anytime you speak about colorism, people always want to talk about, oh, well, we're all black. No, you guys don't treat us all the same way. Everybody is treated differently. We're not going to continue to act blind to this. And some of you guys really need to have a lot of sit down conversations with your kids, no matter how uncomfortable it's going to be, because if you do not get a handle on it, when your kid grows up to be an adult, they're going to feel as if they are inferior and they will feel the best solution possible is for them to alter themselves when realistically they should not have to risk their bodies having all these chemicals and harmful surgical procedures being done in order for them to look like something that realistically they were not born with. And so shame on all these idiots that were in the shade room comment section talking about these girls skin tone and trying to act like that her skin was dark and instead of you guys just doing a quick google search to see that she was darker skin all along and stop trying to drag Delilah and Jesse. These girls are pretty to me. They do modeling. They do so many different things and you guys are over here acting juvenile as f acting completely ignorant and stupid over some skin tone and oh well they don't look cute as this or whatever well I bet you their bank accounts are cuter than yours so anyways you guys please make sure you give your comments on the cover do you feel as though there was darkening or can you clearly see in these photos that I showed you guys that there was no skin darkening going on because she was already darker skin please make sure you like comment subscribe and share and I'll talk to you guys in my next video bye